a new Gmail security alert for 2.5 billion users? What the literal What's going on? What's happening today? Welcome to another episode of The Bug Bite, hosted by your truly tech coach, Ralph, where we are engineered to win. In today's episode, we are going to be talking about a security alert for Gmail, 2.5 billion people affected, or alerted at least, from an AI hack, and it's been confirmed. Yes, that's what we're talking about today. Before we jump into our article for today, do me a big, big favor, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you can know every time that we go live and drop new content, as well as go to techotrap.dev, sign up today, you can sign up for free, tons and tons of exclusive content you will not find anywhere else. I have videos from when I do, from some of the meetings that we have with the coaching group, as well as videos to help you level up using LinkedIn, using AI, using Glassdoor, updating your resume, so much more. And, and, and for limited spots, but you get to work with me one on one exclusively to help you level up and get to the next step. That's techotrap.dev. Sign up today. Don't, don't miss out. Don't miss out. All right. But let's jump into this article for today. A new Gmail security alert for 2.5 billion, yes, billion users as AI hack is confirmed. This article is written by Davey Winder, and this article is brought to us by Forbes. Davey Winder is a senior contributor and a veteran cybersecurity writer, hacker, and analyst. And it was updated October 13th, 2024, all right? So... It's so, uh, so like we said, it was updated. It says this the story originally published October 11th includes details of a new Google anti scam alliance initiative, a new warning about legitimate looking support scams, and details of Google's advanced protection program to protect high risk accounts. All right, so let's jump into it. Google has implemented increasingly sophisticated protections against those who would compromise your Gmail account, but hackers are using AI driven at attacks. Um, but hackers using AI-driven attacks are also evolving. According to Google's own figures, there are currently more than 2.5 billion users on the Gmail service. No wonder then that is such a target for hackers and scammers. Here's what you need to know. The latest AI-driven Gmail attack is scary good. Yes, scary good. Sam Mitrovic a Microsoft Solutions consultant has issued a warning after almost falling victim to what is described as a super realistic AI scam call capable of tricking even the most experienced users. Oh, let's get into this time. Don't throw me with a good time. So it all started a week. All right. So it all started a week before Mitrovic realized the sophistication of the attack that was targeting him. I received the notification to approve a Gmail account recovery attempt. Mitrovic recounts in a blog post warning other Gmail users of the threat in question. The need to confirm an account recovery or a password reset is a notorious phishing attack methodology intended to drive the user to fake login portals where they need to enter their credentials to report the request not as initiated by them. All right, so with this being said, if anybody has ever taken like some type of cybersecurity training at work, you have to be very, very wary of phishing sites. So you always have to look at the domain, the like, in these emails, there's a lot of typos that are necessary or that are in there. But even if there's not, because they make the email look like it's coming from Google, Gmail, um, from whoever, right? From um, Microsoft. But you have to look at the domain. Like if you if you end up clicking on the link, you have to look at the domain, right? And a lot of times you'll see you'll see like it looks like Microsoft, looks like Gmail, but then all of a sudden at the end it's like all this crazy stuff with numbers and stuff like that. So we're like gotta be very careful. You need to know. Before you go attempt to log into anything, you need to look at what exactly you are, what exactly you are about to log into, okay? Unsurprisingly, then Mitrovic wasn't falling for this and ignored the notification that appeared to originate from the US and missed and a missed phone call pertaining to be from Google in Sydney, Australia, some 40 minutes later. So far, so relatively straightforward and easy to avoid. Then, almost exactly a week later, the fun started in earnest. Another notification request for account recovery approved, uh, approval followed by a telephone call 40 minutes later. This time, Mitrovic didn't miss the call and instead picked up. An American voice claiming to be from Google support confirmed that there was suspicious activity on the Gmail account. Hmm. 
All right. He's asking, he asked if I'm traveling, Mitrovic said. When I said no, he asked if I logged in from Germany, to which I replied, to which I replied no. All this to en engender trust in the call and fear in the recipient. This is when things turned dark fast. It turned dark and really rather clever in the overall scheme of phishing things. The so-called Google support person informed Mitrovic that an attacker had accessed his Gmail account for the past seven days and had already downloaded account data. This rang alarm bells as Mitrovic recalled the recovery notification and missed call from a week earlier. Oh, that is tricky. That is tricky right there. Okay, I see, I see you. Googling the phone number he was being called from while speaking, Mitrovic discovered that it did indeed lead to Google business, business pages. This alone is a clever tactic likely to fool plenty of unsuspecting users caught up in the panic of the moment as it wasn't a Google support number, but rather about getting calls from Google Assistant. At, at the start of the call, you'll hear the reason for the call and that is and that the call is from Google. You can expect the call to come from an automated system or, in some cases, a manual operator. The 100% genuine page helpfully informs the reader. So another Google support scam driven by AI Sparks warnings to Gmail users. Gary Tan, the founder of venture capital firm and, and startup accelerator Y Combinator, has taken an X, formerly known as Twitter. Do we, are, we are we still saying? Okay. All right. I need, I need to know. I need to know, right? Sorry for the sidebar, right? But how, for how long... Do we have to continue saying formerly known as Twitter? Do we not know that X is formerly known as, like, do we have to say it every single time? Formerly known, formerly known, formerly known. Like, it's just X now. It's just X now, all right? Sorry, sorry. Uh, let me get off my rent. Let me get off my rent. Please, please forgive me. Please forgive me. All right? So, uh, where were we? Where were we? Um... All right, so to issue a warning about another phishing scam that he described as being pretty elaborate, which also leverages AI to so as to present itself as believable. Once again, as with the scam that almost fooled Sam Mitrovic, a security consultant, remember, um, a security consultant, remember, that latest warning concerns contacts from a so-called Google support technician. I wouldn't go as far as one commentator on X who suggested the giveaway was that Google doesn't have any support for users, but it's not that it's not that too far from the truth when it comes to these scams. Google support will not contact you out of the blue like this. Do not click yes on the dialogue, Tan warned. You will be fished. In the case of the scam that targeted Tan, the supposed Google support person claimed that the company had received a death certificate and a family member was attempting to recover his account. The caller, in other words, and only AI could be this stupid, was checking that the person answering was alive. It's a pretty elaborate ploy to get you to, to allow password recovery. Tan went on to warn, but spotted that the account recovery screen was protect was presented um, with had a device field that displayed the name of, the, of a support worker rather than the actual device used to access the account. Tan suggested that whoever designed the interface for recovery should be employing some pretty basic regular expression checks or even AI-based fraud detection on the text field in question. It's trivial to check the device name for this, he concluded. Part of the scam invo uh, um, involved getting Tan to re-add his cell phone number as a part of the verification process to trigger an account recovery dialogue. Tan was, however, wise to this. I've been, I've been SIM swapped, so, so no not to have my cell on my account ever. Mm, okay, I see, I see what you got going on here. I see what you got going on here. Uh, another one. Using Google Forms to make contact appear legitimate. Fraudsters have been seen abusing Google Forms, a free online tool that is part of the Google works of Google Workspace, to create legitimate-looking documents sent as a as part of support scams. By sending a copy of the form to the target address using the response receipt uh, receipt option for Google Forms, the document is sent via genuine Google servers, which adds legitimacy to the scam. Checking the email will show it as being from workspace support at google.com, for example, which acts to lower any red flags to the recipient uh, The recipient might have. One such scam used such a form to mimic an account recovery password reset form telling the target that they, they would get an SMS notification from a name support agent and giving them the number to check. This double legitimacy method is enough to fool plenty of people lots of, lots of the time. In this case, the slip up and 
only then if the person on the receiving end was savvy enough to realize was a confusing, complex, and overlong um, um, password reset process. Whew. Tricky, 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 right? So lessons to be learned from these Google support hacks, near misses. Mitrovic did the right thing, or at least the next best thing to hanging up and as a, and as a supposed support guy to send an email confirmation. An email which arrived soon after from a Google domain and looking for all intended and purposes genuine. At this point, he noticed to the field contained a cleverly disguised address that wasn't actually a Google domain, but could once again easily fool those not of the technical bent. The real giveaway for Mitrovic, however, was when the caller said hello and after no response said hello again. At this point, I realized it was an AI voice as the pronunciation and spacing were too perfect. Oh, look at that. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Oh, I got you. It's well worth reading the original blog from Mitrovic. Maybe we'll do that next week uh, as it contains a much more technical detail and detective work that I don't have the space to cover in this report. Knowledge is everything and the threat, of in the threat intelligence provided by this consultant is genuinely invaluable for anyone who might find themselves in a similar situation. Forearmed is forewarned, all right? Uh, and let's see, is that it? Mm. Let's see. All right, so we're gonna wrap it up right here, right? We're gonna wrap it up right here, and then maybe next week or the week after, we'll pick up from where we left off because this is a lot of information. I don't want to overwhelm this whole this whole video with it, but we'll pick up on this. I think we're halfway through, so we're gonna continue looking through these the way that uh, they, people try to use Google and AI to scam us. Um, and but we'll pick up from there, and then we'll we'll do a more deep dive into it. But a good stopping point. I don't want to take this video too long, and now we just have a bunch of information. It's so confusing, right? So let's stop for now. And let's go back to full screen. All right, so that's it for today. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. Hopefully you have some things to be aware of. So the ways that like, you know, be very, very careful when you get these Google account recovery emails because they're trying to steal your data. They are trying to steal your data, they're trying to get into your account. And then all of a sudden all your data is gone and you don't know what to do. And now you start panicking and frantic and you're like, oh my God, I don't know what to do, right? But not in that voice, right? But that's it for today. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Do me a favor on your way out. If you haven't done so already, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you can know every time that we go live and drop new content, you need this content, right? And, and, and go to techcoachdrop.dev right now, techcoachdrop.dev. Sign up today. You can sign up for free. There's tons of exclusive content, some free content, some tiered content. You can sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching, work with me. We can run it up together. There are no days off, no days off, right? We're engineered to win. We don't take days off. We just work, 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 all right? Work, 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 <laughs> helping you with your resume, get, helping you with, with Agile, helping you with using LinkedIn, Glassdoor, AI, so many different things. That's techcoachdrop.dev, one-on-one coaching. Sign up today. Don't hesitate. All right. With that being said, thank you guys for tuning in. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. This is Tech Coach Ralph. We are out. I'm the king of manipulation. Call me social ski. Slide through your firewall, I'm lurking in your tree Fishing for the key codes, got them on the string Dropping exploits in your inbox, now I'm pulling all the strings Impersonation, that's my love language I can spoof a CEO, yeah, I'm about that damage You think you got security, but baby, I'm the glitch Got you clicking every link like I'm pulling on the switch It's a beautiful game, I ain't even gotta try I romance your credential, slip right on by your processes look tight, but I find the flaw Love the thrill of breaking systems, I'm the social law.